Route 66 Diner Goodness. Enjoying a little Woody's this morning. They actually make some great omelets here. And uh, whatever stuff is having, because that looks pretty tasty too. And cheesy. So not only do guys take showers faster than females, we also eat faster than females. Guys are also faster at sex than females, but nobody's bragging about that. Welcome everybody to Metropolis, Illinois, once again. Yep, starting the day here. About a week ago, Buckeye Kitty and Chunky were parked right there. Well, coming to the Riverview Mansion, you never leave hungry. Miss Lori got me a whole loaf of homemade banana bread, which should be pretty good. I'm excited. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and start walking up the road. We got some business to take care of. And I'm thinking about doing some YouTube shorts on the Superman statue for the Superman cam channel. So I think today is just going to be cell phone and shorts. But you're not going to see the shorts. You're going to have to subscribe to the Superman channel. Superman statue cam. That's the name of it. Search for it. It's a fun channel. Well, we've knocked out some stuff here. But we also had to come into the Metropolis post office. And it is definitely a fantastic place. I love this post office. So classic. Well, we had some stuff to mail off. Well, I didn't. Steph did. And uh, we're on our way up to Sissy's Sweet Shop real fast. Grab some coffee. Not that Miss Lori didn't give us enough for the road, but we're going to save that for the road. Get some sweet coffee. It's more of a dessert coffee at Sissy's. And uh, head on down the road. It's going to be a long driving day. 700 miles. 700 mile driving day. Run inside the museum real fast, see if anybody here wants some coffee. Got to show off my backpack also. Ooh, the storefront looks so clean. It is so weird shooting video with the phone going old school. Because you hit pause, you hit record, you hit pause, you hit record, and you forget what you're recording. I mean, it's the same as a camera. I mean, well, your phone is a camera. But it's like, I don't even know what I shot today. I went over there and shot a quick little thing for the Superman channel. Maybe I'll slap that in here too just so you guys can see it. For those of you that don't go to the Superman channel. But then we went inside the Super Museum. Didn't really record. It's like... Content is not flowing through my noggin yet. I don't even know what to start recording. What this video is even going to be about. What are you doing? Pretty good so far. You are? So far. Look at this place, would you? All this amazing stuff. Lots of stuff. Adam, Morgan, look at that. I'm gonna steal it. It's mine. And now it's time for sweets and coffee. Did you guys look at that? That's the old, old streets of Metropolis. That is really cool. Oh, by the way, I'm out of the other shop and I'm already in Sissy's. Definitely making my way around town, doing the quick little stops before heading back down the road. I know we gotta go, and I know we got a lot of miles to put on today, and it's just I'm procrastinating, and I shouldn't be procrastinating. We need to go, but coffee's more important at the moment.
back in Florida. Actually, I'm back, back to Cousin Eddie. Oh, he wants me to open the door. He wants me to open that door. It's not gonna happen though. I'm gonna go over here to do my paperwork and uh, grab a shower and continue on down the road. No time for play today. I got 10 hours to do 1,300 miles. Can it be done? I doubt it. Oh yeah, you heard me right. Shower and then a quick 1,300 mile drive in 10 hours. Yeah, they expect a lot from me. Quite a picturesque little creek. Hard to believe that hundreds of lives were lost right here. In these woods, right along these riverbanks. But that's exactly what happened. And I'll show you where all those bodies were, or that passed away here, where they're all buried now. Come on, let's go on an adventure. So I was driving through Tennessee here and decided to make a quick stop and shoot a regular video of an of a little place that uh, I've visited before, though I've never been here. So this is the first, this is where a lot of it happened. Most of the Southern soldiers perished right here in the battle that was here locally. Forget the name of it, we're gonna find out as we get up to the cemetery. But down here is where the Southern soldiers were hiding in the brush down here by the river. And up there, just past my truck, there was a hill where the Union soldiers were, and they were just firing bullets into these woods here, and uh, pretty much won that battle fairly easy. They had the higher ground. Everything is so green down there right now. It's so hard, so hard to get down through all that shrubs and the bushes. I'd be able to get a better shot of all the hiding places and stuff from up here on this overpass. And the beauty, I mean, it's beautiful down there. You guys look at that. So as you guys can see, down there is my truck. And just beyond the truck is the river where the unions are, where the Confederate soldiers were hiding out there, taking aim, hiding in the brush at what was sitting up here on top of this little piece of land. An old pioneer cemetery. Back in the day, early settlers and pioneers kind of setting up shop here in Tennessee. Had a nice little amazing cemetery that kind of makes you feel like you're in Scotland or Ireland. It's quite picturesque and beautiful. But it also makes for a great vantage point to fire upon your enemy. And the war had gone to, or the war, the South have, had gone to war with the United States firing the first shot over in the Carolinas at Fort Sumner and uh, starting a treasonous, it was a treasonous act of war. They went, to, they, went, they went to war against the United States. So the United States fought back, took the high ground and uh, battles pursued all across, all across the South. And uh, this is just one of those locations. Um, it, you know, it, it sucks. A lot of people died and, uh, you know, everybody has their own belief systems and, and what happened and what they were fighting for. So I'm not judging anybody. It's just, uh, it's, it's kind of somber when you come to a place like this and knowing that it took place at a cemetery full of explorers and pioneers just kind of, I don't know. The original nomads, right? These pioneers were original nomads. Pretty much all the soldiers that were down there in that river that were killed that day are buried here. But not one of their names are on their headstones. Every single one 
is an unknown Confederate soldier. There are only two long rows here at the cemetery and they are off to the side. They're not in the regular Pioneer Cemetery. They are off to the side a little bit. I don't know what the reason into that is. Maybe to keep conformity or maybe because the they were traitors to the United States basically and these were pioneers of the United States maybe they just keep them segregated I don't know originally the site was a pioneer cemetery many early residents are buried here in 1866 returned Confederate soldiers under the leadership of Major William Home, whom, and David Lawrence collected and re, re, whatever that word is, here the body, reunite, re, wow. Here are the bodies of the soldiers who fell at isolated places in the Beech Grove Hoover's Gap engagement. You know, it, it's, I mean, people fought for what they believed in. So I, I get it. I, I understand. And it's pretty impressive that this place even exists. Not this so much, because in the South, we have a lot of this. But what fascinates me is this. This is a pioneer cemetery. I love the pioneers. Actually, this summer, one of my goals is to hit Laura Engel Wilder's homes, you know, Little House on the Prairie. I want to hit every one of her homesteads and the family's homesteads this summer. Pioneers. Pioneers are like the true nomadics, the true adventurers, when I think of that. I mean, Indiana Jones, Laura Croft, yeah, Dora the Explorer. But uh, there's just something to be said about hooking up to a wagon with a horse and all your supplies, just like the original RVs, right? Just setting westward. It's... Uh, I think I would have been one of those people. I would have probably been here. Resting underneath this giant oak tree. Along with these. Not sure if these are pioneers or just people that lived here. And fluent, influent, and fluent. Families. They get a totally caged off grave sites. This is probably a family, I'm assuming. Under the shade of a Tennessee oak. Beach Grove's Confederate Cemetery and Park. So I'm encouraging you, if you drive a larger vehicle, Definitely this summer. There's a lot of things right alongside the roadways as you're driving by. No reason just to put your four-way flashers on like I did. Get out of your vehicle, your RV, your motorhome, your tractor trailer, and uh, walk a few hundred yards and kind of explore. There's a lot to be seen just off the roadways. Anyway, until the next time, I love you guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I shall see you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.